What's up guys? I wanted to show you a really easy fix for a Blue Yeti microphone. This fix involves a really common problem with these mics with their USB port where the cable has to be in like a perfect position in order for the mic to function. There's, I'll show you in a second what the problem looks like. I just fixed it on this device, um, but it's super, super easy. It'll be done in like two minutes. It's just, it's longer to take the thing apart than it is to fix the problem. Um, but so what happens is over time, these mics are great by the way, they're absolutely amazing. But over time, this cable gets jostled a lot. That causes a stress right here, which causes the USB port to expand and for the metal on the edges to open up a bit. This causes the port to be loose. You become able to rock it back and forth, right? So that's enough motion to disconnect the microphone. This means that when the microphone's in its housing, you have to like wrap the microphone around its base at a perfect sweet spot angle. If you're putting up with that, you can fix it really, really, really easily, right? And if we were to look at OBS right now, we can look at the microphone level, that bar that's jumping up and down, see? And when I talk, you hear a lot more of it, right? Or you see a lot more of it. So, you can see that it's still bumping up and down, and I'm moving this cable. So it just went red because the microphone got overloaded. When it disconnects, look what happens. The whole bar just disappears, right? So earlier, when this microphone still had that problem, when I was moving it and shaking it around, it would disconnect with the cable still being plugged in. And again, this is caused by a rocking motion. Over time, this will happen, and it's really easy to fix. You literally just need these needle nose pliers, and then all you gotta do is squeeze it, right? So, let me try and show you properly. I gotta change my angle, scoot my seat back a bit. All you would do is go like that, and then just very gently squeeze. You don't wanna squeeze it too hard, and then keep trying to plug this back into it. There should be a little bit of resistance, and you want the plug to fit very snugly, so that it just holds it in place. And one other thing, here, let me stabilize the camera for you. One other thing you can do is these points here, these three, you can bend them down just a little bit. These also get pushed up, and this is the mechanism kind of that keeps the plug in place. You really wanna make sure that the plug is stable. It's really, really important. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.